Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to work on the login page of our application. So, if you click on the getting start, we just fixed the sign up in the previous video as well as the login. But if I come to the dashboard of Firebase, we have a lot of users here. I have just uh, behind the scene created some users so that you can see list of users as well as I have just tested some of the user. So here, whenever I log in, it is going to work. Whenever I sign up, it is working just fine. For the login, we didn't work on this one. So we have a lot of user, but I have none of their password. So next time I, sh I come here, I don't want to create a new user. I just want to log in to the dashboard and then we can work on other stuff. So let's work on the login page here. So if I come to the application, I just close everything and open the source directory again, going to the component. We have our login.view component. This is our modal component that you can see here. So whenever I click on the login, it should take the email from here and the password. It should check that if we have those users here in the database and the password is correct. And then it should redirect us to the admin area of, of our application. So let's start. I will come here. Here is the login button. What I am going to do is I am going to bind a click event on this one. So whenever someone click on this, just call the function login. We don't have this function, right? So let's create it. You come on the method area and say login. Here is your function. You put a comma and how you log in user. That is easy. Like if I come to the documentation, here is the code for the login page. As I said in the previous video, the, the left hand side is the main menu and this is the sub menu, which you can do all the stuff here. So what, what you can see here, you can sign in user using different methods. Here is sign in and receive data with credential, like sign in anonymously. That is another way of signing user. Signing with uh, credential, if you have different credential. Sign in using the Gmail and if I come here, using GitHub, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, all the stuff here. For us, what we are going to work is, we are going to say we are using sign in using email and password. You click on this one. Here is the function. This is the Firebase function. It accept email and password and it will return a promise like any other function in the Firebase. So if you scroll down, there are some errors that you can handle like invalid email address, user disable. You can disable user here. If I come here, click on this little three dots here, you can disable the user account from here. Then that user cannot have access to your application if you do that in the future. User not found. If you do not have that user, it will throw the error. And here is the error. You can customize the error any, any way you want. But here is the code we want to use. You copy this one. You come here in your login function. You paste it. The reason I do is because we do, of course, customize it. In the future, if you do need to see how the code is working, you can just go and check the documentation. And I will just indent it look a little nice so what it is, this is going to do this function is going to say firebase go and authenticate our user using email and password which email and password i have to say this that email which refer to email we have here in our data object and the password is the same thing so how it work whenever user enter something in the field here email and password it will automatically update that here and it will bind it to our sign in you using email and password and it will log in, log in us so how it is going to work you know uh, the promise will return two types of function like either it says catch for the error if you have any error or then if you if you have successful like if you have successfully login so then it's going to work like this you write then and for now i have to say that whenever we log into the user all we have to do is redirect us. So this is going to run a function here. We will use an arrow function. You don't have to do anything. But what you, what you can do is you can pass the user if you want to change the user after they log in. You can save their the user information in a cookie or anything you want to do. For now, we don't do anything. This is just fine. You say just run this function if 
we successfully log into our application using the email we have. So how you can redirect it? We have learned that in the previous video. This you can write dollar sign router dot replace and then it will replace the URL to admin. This will happen only if the user successfully log in. So I will say for now and there is another another uh, thing which is wrong here. I, I will I would just fix this one here but if you see we see if we because we import oops not down there we import firebase as a fb as a short name like fb here that's why we see fb dot out fb dot out here in the example they have directly said firebase so I will just fix that one also we save it coming to the application here you refresh the page it because it was the model it didn't work like that so if you click on the getting start here now if you write any email i don't remember any of those email and password we have used here so we'll create another i will say admin at user.com and a little password you click on the login and we wait for it to redirect but it is not working you right click on here inspect element you should see the error if i click on the console what we do not have is firebase what is wrong if you come here here is the error we have so the email must be invalid what is this so if i come to the code if you get some similar error like this one it is because you click on that but we do not have those email it means these are null by default they are null if I come all the way up there, we wrote the email here and the password here. But these are not connected to the model here. So we have to use vModel for the email and password for the login area also. So I write vModel here and this is going to be for email. And for the password also we write vModel and this is going to be for the password. Now if the user is writing something, it will take those data and put it here this time if I come here I don't have to refresh the page click on the login and let's say we create a user like like what we did now we say admin at user.com I know this does not exist in the database so we say a little password and I want I just want to see the error we get you click on this one and you get the error here is the error user not found so you can display those, those error here for now we do not work on the validation we will discuss that in the future video but we have to create the user if i click on the sign up we already filled those form this is the nice part which we use like the same data which we have here and it will fill those data for us and here for the name i will write the name is admin and i click on the sign up it should work just fine yeah it really us to the admin now if i log out and log in again it should work just fine admin at user.com little password click on the login oops then is not defined so why if i come here i think i missed something yeah i missed to connect connect the like to connect then with the last function here I forgot the dot here so this time if I refresh it these things happen like I am recording the live videos that that's why it is going to happen so this time it should work just fine click on the getting start admin at user.com and you click on the login yes it redirects us to the admin area why the, the screen is dark because we didn't close the model window and that's why it happened so how you close the model here is the code we have you just replace it here and what else I want to do is so I will just come here refresh the page and before I do any other changes we are in the admin area I will log out and I will show you one of other problem we have here if I come here if you write the email let's say admin at user.com and you write the password 
and whenever you press enter nothing happen so i just want to say if anyone press enter it should log in us without going to click on the login button how you do that one you come all the way up here here is your password input what you can do is you can bind an event here which event any key press so how you do that one on key up you can call login now this is going to say if user type anything it is going to call this function i am going to filter that to enter i say if user click uh, press enter just call the function login you save it no one's password is called enter so whenever they complete their password they press enter it should login us to the admin area so i will click on this one this is already here you click on the login no i don't click and i'm in the password field i press enter wait a second yeah it just redirects us to the admin area and everything is working just fine so this is for the login page in the next video i will talk about the interface of firebase and how different services are going to be used so that is going to be an interesting topic see you in the next video